it, but it ain't working for her. A2 of removing Kimosabe's dreadlock. Only this day we had administered detangler and a little bit of conditioner mixed. And of course. broken hair and being removed and then we have a long shoot of the dreadlock oh goodness that this is how long I was almost touching the ground when she started getting it detangled but Might need a little bit more detangler, <coughs> especially on that rear chute. Just be slow, mo. Some quick movements. He's just a little. No, he jumps when he coughs. <coughs> well, we'll have to desensitize him to that coughing. I think I'm doing some desensitizing. That was the biggest part right there. Mm -hmm. That was the biggest part right there. Was it? Yeah. I mean, where the, that was where the big, the knot stemmed off of, was that one sort of Reach to pull all the hair together to kind of keep it cleaned up. Change the angle of the camera. And these two strands that are left here were tangled around it. Looks like you need some more detangler in that one. I see you looking at me, boy. Did you hear me? I heard you. He's running out of food. The reason it's a little harder is because it's dry and it's not as wet. Well, that's why I said it needed a little more. I'm believing he'll eat anything you give him. Remember, he loves his food. If 
that. Five and a half minutes so far. Last one was ten minutes. That is since you put the detangler in. So it's actually excelled the pace. <laughs> I want you to come up here and try to spook too. Oh, blessed wants to make his entry known. How you doing, Blessed? I got one piece left. And you got I don't know if it's going to stay this long or not. Oh, <laughs> and it's still pretty wet. Huh? It's still pretty wet with the tangler, so. It's all phases of rehabilitation. I mean, it, it can go from just handling, getting the horse used to being handled and used to human touch, getting the horse used to having a halter on, being led, picking up their feet for farrier, and of course, getting their shots and coggins, and like this boy here, he come in with his mane seriously tangled and dreadlocks in it from lack of touch for the last four years, five years. Pretty much since he was born, he's five years old. He was born after the lady's husband and son passed away. Well, he was born after the husband passed away, right around the time that the son passed away. So the only person who touched, was touching him was the kids. Yeah, the grandkids. For a while. She was going to start beating again. I saw her grab a hammer. We got some neighbors that anytime they know we're working with a horse that hasn't been handled or touched in quite a while and leery or spooky, whenever we're out here close to them or around them, they rattle stuff, beat on stuff. They do a little bit of anything to try to spook the horse. However, this boy here doesn't have a mean bone in his body. He's not trying to kick or do anything. He doesn't have the flight in, or the fight instinct. He's more of flight. He wants to play keep away. Almost, baby. over and get it all to brush to one side. Oh, is there more on the other side? No, I'm just saying, but there is, there's mane on the other side. You know, you gotta start training to one side. That's another sign of not being, it's all on one side. Hmm? It's on one side. Right there toward the top, right where he raised his head. There's mane on the other side. that didn't have the detainer on, it's kind of like, now it's like you can tell how dry it is. Mm -hmm. Well, I had a conditioner with it to kind of condition his mane. No, I mean the part I didn't put it on. 
the part that wasn't tangled that I didn't put it on. Your dreadlock is gone. Good job. His rehabilitation is continuing.